you know i've been telling you about gilgil phase eight the ranch gilgil phase eight and uh, now we have only few plots remaining from where i am to gilgil town it is just uh, 12 kilometers we have so many social amenities around this is nakuru county and where i'm standing right now just like a kilometer away we have nagum primary school and this is one of the social amenities that we have around in uh, nagum because this area is known as nagum and of course we also have uh, social amenities like electricity actually even the school itself has uh, electricity uh, we have water actually our next neighbor has uh, you know a borehole so water is also not a problem in this place and these are some of the social amenities that people in Gilgil Nagum are enjoying and of course you can be part of this community how do you own a plot in Gilgil Faraja Settlers Limited, they cater for your site visit. First of all is to book a site visit so that you can be able to come and see what we are talking about. A 50 by 100 piece of plot is going for 240,000 Kenya shillings and this amount is inclusive of your title deed. And of course you don't have to pay the entire amount i always tell people that faraja settlers limited they accommodate each and every one of us so if you cannot be able to afford to pay cash amount you can deposit ten thousand kenya shillings only and they have a very flexible payment plan that we have organized for all of you you can pay in six months or you can pay in one year a payment plan that is a mode of uh, payment so you are the one who is to choose the payment plan that you would feel comfortable with so you can uh, of course own this plot by calling our mobile number so that you can be able to book for a site visit even people in diaspora if you are far you can just send somebody so that they can come and see you know what we are talking about and the plots that we are talking about they have ready beacons so you can call the number to book 0705 525252 or if you are within nairobi you can visit our offices in nairobi cbd along ronan gala street a building known as rmg plaza fifth floor room number four and that is the easiest way to own a place in Gilgil. So God bless you as you plan to invest with Faraja Settlers Limited. A company that will tell you that your property is our priority. Thank you for watching and thank you for investing with Faraja Settlers Limited. Thank you for tuning in to today's program. My name is Hiram Maina, aka Kamohunjia, and God bless you for always supporting this YouTube channel. I always tell you that this is a godly platform that God has given us so that we can be able to uh, inspire, to also learn a thing or two, uh, so that we can also transform lives through uh, this channel. Uh, we are at 150,000 subscribers, and God bless you because. Uh, why not for you and God uh, we will not be here so thank you so much uh, wherever you're watching us globally and uh, remember we are proudly sponsored by Faraja Settlers Limited and I hope that uh, you have seen the advert uh, that has aired earlier hope that you make the wise decision to invest with them uh, because those deals you know they will be sold out soon so be part of uh, those people who will invest with them now today's story you know i i told you that i will be bringing stories from kakamega county uh, but uh, i would like to cut you short from those stories because you know this uh, is a story that i can say it is uh, called for uh, it is one of a kind uh, is a story of a business person a former business person his name is dwati and uh, you will allow me to hide his identity because of how uh, you know, sensitive the story is uh, because it, is, it might uh, put him 
in uh, you know danger uh, because of what he has gone through in his life uh, maybe we can start maybe i can uh, put it in a question way uh, have you ever thought that maybe not all accidents and let me uh, put it in you know to be precise maybe have you ever thought maybe not all road accidents are accident like they were never meant to happen what if they were conspired by somebody uh, who was in a ritual a cult or group what if and uh, the reason why i've asked that question is because i have mr Duarte with me he's a former uh, matatu uh, owner business person here in kenya and he has been able to reach you know, to the climax of owning matatus here in Kenya. But he is here to share some, you know, dark past and dark secret that he experienced or he did uh, when he was still in that business. And he will tell us how, you know, it came uh, to reach to a point where he, uh, you know, he had to leave that business because of what he was going through. And um, I hope that uh, we can be able to learn a thing or two by end of this show. So without further ado, help me welcome the one and the only Mr. Ndwati. Uh, thank you to the program, uh, Mr. Ndwati. We don't take it for granted for also giving us uh, uh, this time so that we can be able to listen to your story. And I would like you to give us a little bit of your background so that we can be able to know you. Uh, my name my name is Ndwati. I was born and raised in Muranga County. Uh, Kusoma in the Somia Muranga. And my bank my background uh, I'm from a very, very poor background. To Melala and Jasana Pale. Masomo when it comes to education I was not uh, that smart with the books. Uh, meanwhile, our daughter was Kuskiza Hakim Mushiki. I just listened, but uh, understanding. So, I was in Pomorana. I dropped out of school in Form 3. That is when I dropped out of school. And I decided, like, education is not for me. I decided now to venture into other things. And that's why now I'm here. Uh, so, did, are you the one who decided to drop out of school? Um, uh, there were challenges at home, maybe that is why you thought would a drop out? There were so many challenges because I was, uh, I felt like, why would I be, how, why would I let my parents be wasting school fees on me where the other, the kids behind me, they are good with the book, but for me I'm not good with it, so I just, felt like it's better I leave the opportunities for my siblings. Because I was I was not good with the books at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so now when uh, when you dropped out of school uh, Leon, did you maybe now venture into maybe business? Ama what happened when you dropped out immediately? Uh, nilipo kata shule, wanasemanga kukata, nilipo kata shule, I moved to Nairobi. Uh, I had a friend of mine who lived in Huruma, hapa JK Boothia. Uh, I communicated with him and I went there to live with him. He was doing good, he was doing good. Ju, nilikuwa na mwana kikunja ushago vili ya mevaa, na mwana ateseki. Now, if you need help and if you want to start something else, come to me. I will teach you a few things. So I moved to Nairobi, Uruma, and I moved to my friend's house. Pale ndipo nilianza sasa biyashaya yangu. Kubeba mizigo, pale kwa soko, pole pole. And that, that's where everything started. I was earning like 300 bob per day and it, it was good back then. That is good money. So, how about the kilakitu? 
Which year was that? Mkitambo sana. That was 202. 202. 202. Uh, 202. Okay. Uh, so uh, now you uliendelea kukana rafiki yako or you you made some money and decided to move out? Uh, now I stayed with my friends for with my friend like for one year. Though there were these this motorbikes came motorbikes in Kanza Kukuja, Kenya and a friend of mine told me with this amount we can go somewhere we give them this amount and they give you the motorbike you'll be paying pole 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 you'll be a motorbike what will I do pole pole so I don't know motorbikes in Kanza Kukuja, Missouri, Kenya and now I, I, I started the whole the motorbike business you are one of the pioneers who are motorbikes. Mm -hmm. yeah. By motorbike, I'm sure you can manage to do this. Yeah, we'll do this. Mm -hmm. So, eh, so you can do this in Guinea and Mizigo. Yeah. And then you started. I did it in the same past. What I did, I did it in the same Instead of Kubeba, Vituna, Gongo, Sasa, and Abebe, and Apikipiki, I was still working at the market, but now I was using my motorbike, which was more faster and I could earn more money. Mm. Okay. So, your Biashara, uh, can you say that uh, Ilweza Kukupatia good money? It was giving me good money because if to, you cannot say it's bad money because I moved now to my own. I was making good money. I took it to Kidogo. I got married. I got married. Two or three, I got married. Yeah, it was good money. So you, you, you married in 2003? Yeah. So, meaning, uh, you told me that you have, uh, currently, you have three children? Yeah. Okay. So, meaning that, uh, how old is your firstborn? Uh, my firstborn to Linza the same same year, two or three November. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, twenty. I've got twenty years. Uh, he's in Canada. Okay. Mm. Uh, so now you have gotten married. You have a family. Mm. Uh, now you are, you have started having children. Mm. How was life, and maybe? Uh, I want us to get to where now your life transformed yeah. and uh, how you started doing very well in business because that is where our story is and you tell us uh, what conspired to your success. Uh, sasa Kamuhunjia, kuna hii ya I was in the issue business of motorbike. A guy came to me, alikuwa na haraka sana. And he told me uh, he had left his car in a garage. I take him there. Na kona raka sana. So when I went there, ni kampeleka kwa garage yake. Kwa garage. From garage, he told me he has a, a place where he sells car. Ni mgoje ni mpeleke uko. So when I went there, I felt like, Ah, this guy is doing good. This is a person we should connect. So I started talking to him. He was the selling of cars. How does it work? And he told me, you know, these people who are rich, they don't talk much. He told me, uh, take my number and when you, when you, you can call me in a week time or in two weeks time, uh, you can come here and we can talk because he was very busy. So when I went back home, I, I, I took like two to three weeks because I, I had that fear of Damsumbua. You feel like ah, it is too early to call him. So I called him and he told me, Ah, I remember you come. Okay, you can come on Friday. So Friday morning, very fast, I rushed there, we talked. And he told me there was a car that was there. He told me, uh, you seem so interested. If you can manage to sell this car, 
I, if you can manage to sell this car, I will teach you a few things. That car was going for 1.2 million. And when I went back home, I called a few people. Yo, wakati hakuna tuta tuma picha wa sapo hapi. So I called a few people and within two days, I sold the car for 1.7. And the guy was so surprised. So I made, I made a profit. I made 500k. And the guy gave me 50k for selling the car. And the guy who bought the car, he was so happy with the car, he gave me 50. So I went back home with 600k. And that's why now everything changed. In my life, I have only na kwanga sana na baadhi ya biashara. I have that thing of business that is in me. I'm those people when you touch something business, it goes. Yeah. So you made a profit of six hundred. From a from a doing guy, you have come there, you have made six hundred k. Just like that, I couldn't believe it. Nile una fika nimbali na shindo kumenda aji. What happened? I was even telling my wife, do you know I made 600k? Uh, no, she couldn't believe I made that money. Uh, and, that, and now I was like, this is my line of business. Now I, I have to, to talk, to be nice to this guy. Uh -huh. That's where everything now changed. <laughs> now, did you continue with the business? Ama Abadu, Lenelea, Nakazi, Anduthi? I continued. Uh, you cannot go back now to Piki <laughs> Piki. Now I was the guy who well, I, I, I did that business for a whole year. So I saw me say, Dear Nimbani, Nimejengea Mazi Kanyumba Apo, Najusha Goku Jenga Niaraka, Nime move, Nime move Penil Kuan Naishi. Things are changing. Now I had good money, I had good money. So I thought to myself, What if, what if I, because I, I had bought a car, I had a car. I told myself, what if I sold my car, sell it, make a profit, then you knew to guard it to watch me your pesa. You see, you have a car, it's going to, you bought it at 1.1, you sell it at 1.3, and instead of upgrading, you buy smaller cars which goes for 400k, 600k. That is what I thought to myself. And I bought, I remember I bought a Nissan Note. 400k. Then I sold that note. You can not give it to me. That's how I started my business. And within a span of one point, within a span of one year and a half, I had I, now I had. Mm -hmm. Within one year and a half. Yes. Ulikuwa yard. Yes. I risk. I risked everything. So you, you left the person who was helping you? I didn't see Kumwate per se. We were talking because he connected me where to, where to buy cars. He's a good guy. Connected me where to go for good cars, how to move cars to Nairobi because they come from Mombasa, who to talk to. He, I was Shikiria. And I, now I started my own yard. Uh -huh. And we are still in good terms. Even now, we still, we still talk, but now the levels changed now. Okay. okay. So, while in that business, and uh, you, know, you know, it was, it was a one way of connecting you to, uh, you know, a high height and a bright future. Yeah. Now, uh, you told me that uh, it reached a point where now you decided to go even to higher heights not only having you know selling personal cars uh, you decided to uh, start another company yeah. of uh, selling uh, of of uh, matatu business yeah, transportation and maybe you can tell us about that now there was this one day i was in i remember i was in this place westland i met this guy a friend of mine uh, there are these people we met in business. Now you know I'm connected. I'm doing well. I'm selling cars. I'm making a profit of millions. So uh, you you meet people when you have money. You meet great people and you go to places that you meet people who talk money, money only. I met this guy and he told me uh, you are you are doing good in business. 
What if we, we start, uh, we venture into transportation? To, to get a gari kwa barabara. Sa hizo unaona, sa hizo ndo mazuri zinaanza kuingia Nairobi. To get a gari kwa barabara, hii biashara ya barabara yiko na pesa sana. Um, I bought the idea. Then the guy, he went and he muted on me. Hakuwa naongea. So that thing bothered me. Trust me, I couldn't sleep. Because I, I was calculating and I was like, this thing will work for me. This thing will work for me. And the guy is not communicating. There are those people who are slow. He's very slow with things. Now I have money. He was he even told me, what he told me, he told me like, come with 10 million. I come with 10 million. We start something together and I bought the idea. So what I did, I went to the bank. I took a loan of 30 million. You can move a bus in it. So, so you, you left him? Uh, when he, he was slow. He was slow. He had an idea, but he wasn't working on it. He had a very good plan, but now he's not even talking to me. You call him, Abadikani. You call him, Abadikani. Me, I went to the bank, and the kind of property he had, the bank could give me that money. So, me, I can say 30 million. You can know a basi. Do you call a basi? You know, I can't do it. To me, the bus, and I can hear the barabara. That's where now my business is started. But the sad thing, so you come and me cause your money in me. The transportation business never worked for me. So it's all, the conago. The business is not working for me. I don't know why. So you, you see, I, I. I up to now, I think it's, it's because it was not my idea. It wasn't working for me. I have loans. The bank now is starting to call. Why am I not paying? I have these circles. Even my employees now are complaining. And I started now losing. Where now things start going slow. Now you are losing. Yeah. That was uh, the time now where you felt that uh, now this is now too much. It is becoming too much. Uh, I met this friend of mine. He told me, Kuna Mahali Neza Kupeleka, there is a place we go for prayers. And I was like, yes, now I need God. This is now becoming too much. My downfall is here. I have now to talk to God. And to Kanda, we went there. But the shocking thing when we got there, Unaingia na nyuma. What do you mean? You enter in th that place backwards, like you are leaning, you, you cannot enter facing it. You are, you are going there backwards. Uh, like if, if this is a door, I, can, I have to go... You cannot you face see. front. You go backward with your back. You enter with your back. Now I was like, well, now what is this? Is this, is this? What kind of prayers are these? Was it in a church? It wasn't a church. We, we, we went there for, I can remember we traveled there for 11 hours. Where was it? Bali Sana. Where? Bali Sana. Where? I cannot expose the place because now people still go there. People still go there up to now. The room, is it maybe? It is not a room, it is in a bush. Which room? There is no room. So, in a bush, they make a... a shrine. And why call it a prayer? You know, let me tell you. If, if, I don't know if you have reached that point where you have no option. You can do anything to get back where you are. Nobody loves downfall. And falling, like... Coming from, from grace to grass is very hard. Nobody likes it. People do things to maintain that, that position of wealth. So we went there and I was asking my friend, now what is this? Because we went too far. I was asking him, now he told me, well, in here, just come in, you will see. And now the pastor told me, 
and then you call him pastor because people up to now they still call him pastor. I don't. I think they tell you he's, he's a pastor because they don't want you to, to see you to be scared because if they tell you we are going for witchcraft, you won't go. So they, they marinate you, they tell you, ah, he's a pastor, you know, so let's go and leave this pastor. You wake up so early. Muna talk out to five, muna fick out start to see And now you go to, 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 to hotels, now you sleep, you come back the next day. People go there still now. Up to now, people still go there. These businessmen, they still go there. So, you meet the, the, now the pastor. The pastor told me, uh, can you do this? Uh, go and bring me your wife's, one of your wife's school. I was like, ah, why should I bring my wife? Why does, does my wife's school connect with my downfall? What for? What for? It doesn't make sense to me. So, my friend told me, you know, unataka kusuka, tibiashara. Now, you, are you enjoying your downfall? Can you do what the pastor is telling you? But that man is not a pastor. He's wearing red. So I was like, okay. My friend convinced me. Because now I was scared. I was losing friends. Nobody now. People who don't want to be uh, attacking my in the angle. Nobody want to be associated with me. So I went back home. And I, I stole one of my wife's clothes. Now, you are saying you went back home and you stole one of your wife's clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, in your mind, were you not maybe asking yourself a question, perhaps, what if, you know, this is something of a cult? What if this is a ritual that uh, this man of God, you know, in quotes, is trying to, uh, to perform using my wife's clothes? And I'm sure... Uh, if you are going for prayers, it, it, it means that you really, really needed God, meaning you knew God. So, didn't you question yourself? You know what happened? I had doubts. I was feeling guilty. But now, the friend of mine, the friend I have, he's doing very good. That man has never experienced downfall till now. He's just going up and up. It's like now for you, it's like you meet someone like the late Kirubi. Kirubi is advising you. Will you argue with Kirubi? You cannot argue with Kirubi. Who are you to argue with Kirubi? That man is doing very good. He's telling you the way. He's trying to show you the way. What is there? You are, you are losing everything. The bank is calling. People are now starting to see you as a problem. Nobody wants to, to talk. You know, I'm not talking of losing small money. I'm talking of millions. See, this person is going to me to say, look, I'm going to go TV. No, I'm not talking of that. I'm talking big money. What? It is a point where you... you point really... of, you need help. That is what you need. And this man is telling you, this is what works for us. And he told me, why you are falling, it's because you never knew this place. Nobody introduced you to this. And he told me, business doesn't work the way you think it works. You need backup. So we went back and I stole one of my wife's clothes. I said, let me try. It's just a cloth. They are not asking me for my wife. Even if you, if you think about it, you will, you, you will just take the cloth. And I took the cloth there. We went there and I gave my wife school. He did so many things. Mamo, she said, you nini, and I'm a nini. Now I came back. And within four days, let me tell you, things started flowing slowly by slowly. <laughs> but the shocking part, my wife started getting sick. Now, you are saying that things started getting better. Better. Uh, what do you mean better? Why maybe why you may be making profit or what do you mean by better? Uh, what I mean by better is my yard was not operating as usual. Now people start coming in. People started coming. The flow started coming in. 
So I was even now like, huh? Oh, this is what people do. Now I was in the dark. I was very stupid. I even felt stupid. So I'm competing with people who do this. And I think I will prosper. So things started flowing. Biashara in Kanza kupik, kupik, kupik. Now my wife started complaining of migraines. At the teacher in Aumia Ukunyuma, Sijui na Fila Aje. And now I had to go back. And the pastor has told me, asked me actually, uh, is the business doing good? Yes. Now why are you worried? I told him to, to my wife is started, start, has started getting sick. He told me that is how it operates. Now I ask him, will she die? She, she, he told me no. You just enjoy the success. Within now, when I, when I came back, I came back to town, and I called my friend and I told him what is happening. He told me even my wife got sick and she got better. Kamuhuji, let me tell you. We can be with Kisha Bibiago Kapona. And what was that? Is it Jimmy? Bibiago Kapona. It's like my wife was going through a process. She couldn't understand what was happening. And this headache you are talking about, those migraines, were they painful, like...? Very painful. My wife couldn't stay without painkillers. Even while I, I... was even thinking it's diabetes. Because sometimes I now understand my own visually. Science is required that the science... They, they, they were feeling the sense of blood pressure, diabetes. I'm like, maybe it's diabetes. But now I feel... I said, it depends on go, go and maybe go in a family. So within, within a span of two weeks, she got better and we moved back to normal. And things started working. Uh -huh. And this place that you went to, that pastor, did he uh, require maybe money? He never asked me for any money. Any money he never asked. So he's helping you for free? For free. Actually, that is what you thought. For free. I thought, let me tell you, in this world, there's nothing that comes for free. I always felt there's a price for this, but I don't know what's the price. I was always prepared. Something will come. But I don't know what is it. Because how can someone help you like that? It doesn't operate like that. Maybe, maybe I shall have a better with Pizuri, Pizuri, Evo too. Wow. So now, um, your wife got better, and uh, of course, nobody knew in your family. Your wife did not know, the children did not know what you have done. Yeah, nobody knew. It looked so normal. It looked so normal. Because the growth, growth in your way, sana, but now my wife felt like, ah, we are sharing the road to Kawaida. You know, I end up overboard. Nakazia Matatu. The Karudi. The Karipa Bank. But, hey, in a span of now three months, things started now slowing. Uh -huh. And my friend told me, uh, now do I have to see him again? He told me yes. After three months you go there. And I went back there. So it is like uh, the pastor will not tell you when you will go to visit him. It is the situation that you will have or you will encounter you feel like you want to talk to him. Uh -huh. I went back there and I, 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 I told the pastor, ah, things are not working, things are starting to slow. So I asked him, what am I supposed to do now? He told me, go and correct all the logbooks. There is a barabara. And bring me the logbooks here. 
what for? Gadiuri kwa barabara, every car that is operating. Now the matatus. The matatus, every matatu, I go and bring the log books and ask him what for. He told me, uh, for, you said the, the cars are not, the business is not operating well. So it, it is, it is no common. I want to play for the rock books. Bring the rock books and things will work. It sounded so normal to me. I was like, hey, Acha, let me, let me, what did Kimbia and I do? I'm a rakishe. I do what I'm doing. I'm kind of busy. Acha, I'm Kimbia. I'm like a rock book. It looked so normal. You see, Kidun, when he is a pastor, and the place where he is, you can feel you are going so far to reach him. So it feels he's very, he's very strong. You are traveling so far to meet that person. He's very strong. People come there. When you go there, big cars are parked there. So do you feel like these, these rich men are not stupid? They know this man is very powerful. And I went back and brought all the logbooks. And now things started picking. But now, hey. So when you went with the logbooks, uh, did you, after he prayed for them, did you leave the logs, the logbook there or you came back? I came back with them. He told me that he has prayed for the logbooks and things will work. And things started moving normal. Matatu zangu zi watu wanazijua sana. Basi zangu watu wanazijua. People just want to, to, to board my, my, my buses. Even we are operating, even, uh, we, we, I was even telling my friend of mine, and uh, now I need to add more matatus. The business is going, people want now, the, my, my, the name of my buses is now in the streets. I don't know if you can tell us. Uh, now these matatus, your buses and, you know, all those matatus, which route were they using? Uh, I had there were some for Vika Road. Those are Nissan's Matatus normal. The buses were going to Erdoret, Kisumu, Mombasa, those sites. Yeah. The buses were for long distance. The buses never operated in Nairobi. To Matatu, not required in Nazunguka, but Vika Road, But now, in, in one month and a half, I now started experiencing accidents. Which year is this? That is between 2014 to 2015. Accidents. Una bigwa to see mu. Gari mefanya. Another two days. Gari sijui sarga. Gari. Now, sijui matatu. Imetoboka sijui mugu nini watu watu mtu moja amekufa. You know, in a span of one month, we had like six accidents. Yeah, na insurance inatulipa. The insurance I complain. Dio gari vile imekonga nishwa. Inakuwa right off. Right off, insurance tu inakulipa. Who lose, you are not losing, but the accidents are too much. Paka munaonekana na insurance, hii ni kitu umepanga, munataka gari mpia na hamsemi. Now, uh, did you maybe ask yourself why this is happening? And by the way, for how long did it continue? And uh, in like a month, uh, how often was it happening? In a month, we were, we were experiencing like three to four accidents. Gari umesikia Mombasa, gari umekonga muti, siju imefanya nini. Siju ingine na huku ya redore, imefanya. So, those accidents happened for... I went there, let, let me take you back. I went there, and uh, after three months, I told the, the pastor, gari zangu, I uh, had accident, sana. Tell me, you are not uh, going to insurance. Uh, 
and I told him they are paying. I, he told me that is normal. Accident happen. He, 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 day in day out. You are not the first one. Now when I came back from from the pastor, the accident stopped. They stopped for like a year. After 2016, then Simu Zika Anza Yes, you do glad you mefanya? In another two days, she joined in me fanya. So I was like, now what is this? And it happened for like a span of three months, non stop. I went to the pastor. Now he told me, now he, he was open to me because now we have become, we, we, now I'm a customer there. We can talk anything. He told me, uh, in everything, you, in ev everything in this life has a price. He told me, everything that it is happening, that, uh, everything that is happening to you, it is according to the plan. Your business is doing so well. You are making money. I can see you have bought a house. Your children are going to good schools. You think it's for free? What on my side? What am I gaining? I was like, oh, what is this? He told me, me what I want from you is blood. Attack Adam. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na is the accident is in a happen, is in a kutokea. It is a sacrifice you are making to me for me to continue blessing you. And now you kilianga ka niambia bas. Nishajifunga. Now nishajifunga. Now it clicked to my mind. Everything that I was expecting now came to reality. I knew there was always something, but I wasn't so sure about it. And he was even he was so mad at me for asking him that question. He even asked me, "Are you a child?" Well, in total, what are you now asking me? And I, now he was so mad at me, I felt like I told him, Now I went back to the city. Kufikiria the accident is the Archaju last time we put as a Katulia Mwaka, it continued. And now it continued, I said, uh, I cannot continue. People are dying, families are going through a lot, my company is having a bad name. Because, and I know what is happening. When I do a kuna to buy her, come a kid with a nick and on a journey in the air. Now I define a jewy. So I said to myself, I say them now, I stop this. What are your channel man in a gari? What are you required? And then I went, I went to him and I told him, uh, Mimi, man in a transport, Stitaki. And I talk about who's a bassy. And he, he, he invest your best acquired. Okay, I live check a sana. Can you be a Kanyambia, sasa women who are on a sema can you get a vanica? Who may put a young movie of sema can you get a vanica? When would Daniel be a Kenyan Tafania? He told me for the accident to stop all the accidents, it's now time I give my wife a sacrifice to my wife. Now he wants my own blood, someone from the family. Uh -huh. He wants someone who comes now from my family. I told him that that is, that is impossible. I cannot sacrifice my wife. I will not sacrifice my wife because now I, it, everything that is happening, seek it in the living room, sacrifice what to. They trapped me. And even when I talked to my friend who introduced me to that, he told me, now it's between you and him. 
Now the accident continued. Now I'm just watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. It reached to a point up uh, 2019. I mean, I talk. Simu ni mingi. Unaona pa accident mbili. Unakaa kama mwezi, zingine zinaanza. So I went to the pastor and I told him enough is enough. I won't entertain you anymore. Uh, I didn't sign sign up for this, so it appeared to the canoe. And I was so brutal and brutal to him. Can you be even though we say ma? Let me come and be a sort of really funny thing or funny, but me me, I'm very happy with you. With you, can I just talk to you? I can talk to you. I can talk to you. I was so rude to him. And he told me, 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 so, kukurudi na yobi ni kakaa kama wiki tatu. Bibi ya kanza ukonjwa. Na mkazu bibi ya mesuete usiku. Ni kama mewagilua maji. Na shindo hii ni mbarezi ya mani nini. Nenda hospital. Na mba, hii, ana shita. Ni fever. Ni kitu hini, ni ukonjwa uwelewi. Takitela asema, bibi ya ukifika hospital ya temperature ya kwa sawa. So my wife struggled with that sickness, migraines, kutapika, kuhumwa na mifupa, kushindo kutembea, kufimba miku, for like three months. Ndo wakaaga. Lakini... Aliaga huchi ya? Alikufa hapa korona na kuja kuanzia vizuri, 2020. Lakini kitu ambacho kiliniuma sana, Ni poenda apale hospitali like four days before bibi yangu akufe. Bibi yangu aliniambia eh yani umeamua tu kunipeana. I want you to invest with Faraja Settlers Limited. Now, this plot in Kidimani town, this is where I'm standing right now. From Kidimani town to this place is just five minutes drive. If you'd want to own this plot in Kidimani, I'm sure many people would ask, where is Kidimani located? Kidimani is along uh, Vika Garissa Highway. And from Dika town to Kidimani, it is around 30 minutes drive. And of course, from Kidimani town to here, it is just five minutes drive. So, if you'd want to uh, enjoy this ambience of, you know, this place, and because it is a very, very conducive place, because we have neighbors around, we have social amenities around, we have school like Chumbani Primary School. We also have another primary school along this road. We have electricity, Ikohapa Kwa Shamba. And I'm sure you'd also want a place where you have those amenities uh, so that you can be able uh, to also enjoy. If you want to own this plot, it is very easy. This plot, they are 50 by 100, going for 370,000 Kenya shillings only. And of course, if you are buying and you're seeing this advert from Kamuhunje Show, the deposit is 10,000 Kenya shillings only and of course you start your journey of owning this plot in Kidimani you can call us using our mobile number that is 0705 52 52 52 or visit our offices in Nairobi CBD along Ronan Gala Street fifth floor room number four and uh, we can plan a site visit for you and remember this amount that you're paying 370 it is inclusive of your title deed so guys what are you waiting for call the number on your screen 0705525252 and book a site visit so that you can be able to come and own these amazing deals in Kidimani. so god bless you as you plan to invest with faraja settlers limited and we always say that your property is 
our priority.